So I just got my target set up for long range shooting. Uh, real simple design. Just took a piece of all thread on the back side here. Uh, it had a pretty crazy bend in it. And it just slips down into this pipe. Leans up against it. Uh, with the power of my rifles, I'm not too worried about knocking this plate over. It weighs about 120 pounds. Um, I put my spray paint behind the plate. So anytime I come back here, I don't happen to forget it. And the steel plate protects them when you're shooting at it. Just getting ready to start at 325 yards. So at 325 yards, my ballistics chart is calling for four MOA. So what you do is up top of your cap, it'll tell you whether it's down or up. You want it on your scopes, if it says up or down, that's where your bullet impact is going to be. So at 325 yards, it's gonna drop four MOA. So you wanna bring your bullet impact up four MOA. So let's shoot this factory stuff, see how close my ballistics chart is. I haven't used it yet. I'm thinking we should be right in there. So I've got my rifle set pretty close to where the crosshairs are at the center of the plate. Me turning the elevation into the scope means that I should just be able to put the crosshairs right on the target and not have an issue at all. Um, I can see through my scope some mirage and there is a wind blowing from the right to my left. So I'm going to aim on the right third of the target and see where that puts me. I'm going to aim at the center of the target just to the right to account for the wind. Unfortunately I film all these videos on my iPhone so I don't have very good zoom. Uh, there's my target right there. It's a big pink dot. The wind isn't affecting my shot too much. Vertically, that was almost dead on. And uh, it hit about an inch and a half left of where I was pointing. So I'm gonna use my same point of aim and try and shoot a group. The wind is picked up definitely picked up. I can see the Mirage coming through faster now. I aimed far to the right. Nothing landed about an inch away from that first round. I'm 325 yards away, but through my 20 power scope, looks like a pretty kick-ass group. Let's drive back over there and see what I did. Here we are at the target, taking a look at my impacts here uh, from center to center here that's right about three inches at 325 yards one MOA was three and a quarter inches so being close to three that's an MOA shot I was holding right here on my first shot and it hit there just a little bit left the wind picked up so I actually held about three inches farther right, and it landed right here. I held that same hold because the wind stayed strong, and it landed just a little farther up. Looking great. Uh, there's the target. I just backed out to 512 yards. Like I said, this is a new ballistics chart, so I just need to kind of verify that it's working and uh, it's calculated things correctly. At 325, it was pretty dead on with my drop. So I backed out to 512. We'll throw some more dope on my scope and see where that puts us. So I just checked my chart. It's calling for 9.5 MOA. I actually split the difference between 500 and 525 yards. I have it broken down in 25 yard increments. We're already at four, so we're just gonna cruise up to nine. two more clicks that's a half MOA nine and a half MOA for a 525 yard shot so what I'm shooting here is just hunting ammunition they don't have ballistic tips they're actually pretty flat but they shoot real consistent out of my gun so I mean you don't need a fancy ballistic tip boat tail bullet to shoot long range with it helps and uh, helps cut through the wind but as far as your drop goes, it doesn't matter. There's no difference between shooting my 223, which drops 10 minutes more than my Tika does at 700 yards. All I do is just dial in that dope into my scope and it should be dead on. You can calculate that. The big difference is the wind and how fast your bullet starts getting blown off track. 
So that one landed low. Uh, it's about five inches low, two inches to the right. The wind isn't a problem. I'm worried about this ballistic chart maybe being off a little ways. Ooh, that stacked it right on top of that other shot. That's what's in, it's gotta be within an inch and a half of the other shot. All right, that one landed a little bit farther right than the other two did. I did see Barrage cruising through. The wind had picked up. Not really surprised that one flew a little bit farther, but I held the same center point to see if I could get a group. Now we've gone from 500 out to 710. I need to adjust my scope. We're going to 17 and a half. Now this scope only has 12 minutes for evolution, so that's 12. I've gone a little far. There's 17. And a half. We'll see where this puts us on the steel. So now that we've got out to here, still shooting the same ammunition. It was landing a little bit low on the last one, so this may land real low on this, even off target. We'll have to find out. So another thing to note about going this far out is wind really starts to affect it, especially because once you get out closer to the target, the bullet is really starting to slow down and it arcs really bad. It's losing momentum, and so for every 100 yards it travels, it's in that 100 yards longer. Zero to 100 yards goes really quick, but from 600 to 700, it slowed down significantly, and uh, the wind can have more time to blow it around. Wind blowing right to left. Just yeah. right. I'm going to aim center plate now. Did you guys hear that? Did you? Did you hit it? I don't know what that one did. Lower right. Let's bring it up. So, two minutes. Just keeps getting blown off to the right. I'm gonna hold right plate. The wind is picked up. You hit it, dude! I heard it! There we go. So Did I'm, you hear it? Yeah, I'm holding to the left one mil in my scope. <laughs> that takes forever. <laughs> I heard it again. <laughs> I pulled my airplug out for that one. The wind switch on me? Yep. Wind died down up there. I can see it hit off the left side. My barrel's probably getting warm now. So here's a look at the target after five and 700 yards. These three were five. The first two landed right on top of each other and the third one flew off a little bit. Uh, here's a hit at 700. I barely hit the edge of the plate. The winds were shifting back and forth on me so it was hard for me to get a hold. And uh, here's a couple down low. I'm not sure if that was me. My friends just showed up and uh, might have clipped it with his AR.